Halloween, everybody. I'm your guest host for tonight, Dave Letterman Grohl. Yes, I'm Dave Grohl, dressed as Dave Letterman, in for Jimmy Kimmel. It's confusing. I get it, especially if you're home watching right now, stone to the bone. <laughs> and just like Dave, I'd like to announce my retirement from late night TV. Aww. Yeah, this will be my final show. <laughs> it's been quite a ride, though, you know. You may know me from my role as lobby passerby in the 1996 episode of The X-Files, or maybe from my band, Foo Fighters. It's, so, it's the second one, I guess. That's fine. But I'm not the only one in costume tonight. Everyone on the Kimmel staff is dressed up as a musician from the 80s. Uh, our announcer, Dickies, D. Schneider. There he is. Good luck. Good luck. Our band leader, Cleto, is Prince. Yeah. It's, it's a little too soon, Cleto. It's a little, a little soon. Uh, Cleto Sr. is Boy George. <laughs> Our bass player, Jimmy Earl, is Billy Gibbons and or Dusty Hill from ZZ Top. <laughs> like Drummer Jonathan is in full Devo attire. Thank you. <laughs> I like that one. Our keyboard player, Jeff, is Michael Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Our guitar player, Toshi, is... <laughs> Madonna, ladies and gentlemen. That's, Madonna. That's a good look. And uh, Guillermo, who are, you, who are you dressed as? Chair. <laughs> What kind of chair? Is it like a swivel chair or a folding chair? Or... Whatever you want, you hosted the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite share song, by chance? Believe. Ooh. <laughs> you sing a little for us? Give us a little bit. Do you believe in life after love? I feel something inside of me. I like that. It's just like the real thing. That sounds very good. I like that. Speaking of costumes, this is cool. This morning I received a special honor, a news anchor in Charlotte, North Carolina, dressed as me for Halloween. Good morning and happy Halloween, everybody! I am Bruce, AKA The Boss, with my co-host Whitney, Sia, and Dave Grohl over there. What's up, man? It's so getting the best, the best, the best, the best of you. Whoa. What was that? What? what is that? I don't know. That's like the opposite of a tribute band. I don't even know. <laughs> but that's my target demographic right there. That's what we're going for. Uh, were your kids excited to trick or treat? Because mine, you know. I have three daughters. They're three, eight, and 11. And they dressed up as, in order, a pumpkin, a princess, and leave me alone, Dad. Nobody cares about this stupid holiday. <laughs> but you know, Halloween's changed a lot since I was a kid. Call me old fashioned, but I feel like we keep drifting further and further away from the meaning of Halloween. And frankly, I'm kind of sick of it. So who wants to meet me after the show in the woods and sacrifice a goat to our Dark Lord Satan? <laughs> Since it's Halloween, we have an angel and a demon on the show tonight. Kristen Bell and Alice Cooper are here. How's that going right there? 
This will be the first time they've seen each other since they broke up, so that should be awkward. <laughs> but by the way, not only is Alice Cooper going to chat with us, he's also going to perform for us with a little help from me and my fellow Foo Fighters. <laughs> That's right. So one night only. One night only. We shall be known as Alice Fooper. <laughs> I'm a drummer, too. With Jimmy out this week, people have been wondering, will his show still be making kids cry on Halloween? You know that one? That's a good one, right? And the answer is yes, of course, 100%. So consider this your official invitation to take part in the seventh annual Halloween Candy YouTube Challenge. It's a rite of passage for children. It's like learning the truth about Santa, except what they're learning is that their parents are sort of <laughs> It's true. It's easy to participate. All you have to do is this. Are you at school? I know your candy. So if you'd like to be a part of something like that, <laughs> tell your kids you ate all their candy, record it, and post it to, the YouTube, uh, to YouTube with the title, Hey Jimmy Kimmel, I told my kids I ate all their Halloween candy. Do it safely. And uh, be on the lookout for a message from the show. This is your chance to get back at your kids for making you listen to the Moana soundtrack every day on the way to school. <laughs> so you better make it count. It's time for one of the most cherished traditions on this show, where they take one half of one costume, mash it up with half of another costume to create a weird-ass masterpiece. How about that? How about that? And you guys in the audience are gonna be a part of this, so heads up. Because I want you guys to guess the name of each costume as it comes out, okay? Can you do that? Mean Mr. Mustard. For instance, if we combine C-3PO and Oprah, what would you get? Uh, Anything? C-3PO. Oh! There it is. Check out the big brains on Mr. Uh, Sriracha. Perfect. So here it is, our 12th annual half and half Halloween costume pageant. Oh, there's a doorbell now. Let's see what we, who's coming through the doorbell. What do we got? Get in there, Guillermo. Ah, all right. Any guesses? Anyone? Anything? What you, what you got? Oh, let's see. Who are you right there? Handmade snail. You got it, ladies He got it right here, guy up top. Look at that. Nice. We would have also accepted Little Red Riding Slug, but you know. But you got it. Oh, we got another one coming in. Come on, chair. Let's see who's here. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? Hold on. What's that? Hold on. We got we over here. Hold on. Benjamin Franklin. Tell us who you are right now. Benjamin Benjamin Franklin. Something like that is the answer. That's Benjaminian Franklin right there. That looks comfortable. Jeez Louise, the writers here were high as a kite when they came up with that one. Oh, who's next? What do we got? Oh, goodness gracious. Whoa, man. Anybody? Any ideas? Anything? What? Oh, that's close. You're freaking me out a little bit here. Who are you? Marge Gibson. Marge Gibson! Marge Gibson! Did you get that one over there? You got it, didn't you? You got it! All right. Her safe word is do. Oh, doorbell. Here we go. We got another one coming through. What do we got? Here 
it comes. Here it comes. Hold on. Who, what do we got? Barney who? Who are you? Barney Sanders! Oh! We got another one. Barney Sanders right there. Barney Sanders. I don't know if you know this, but Bernie was actually alive when actual dinosaurs roamed the earth. So that's not too... Oh, we got another one coming through. Here it comes. Here they come. Okay. Look out. There's no eye holes in that one. He can't see where he's going. Okay. What do you got? All right, who are you, my man? Let's hear it. I pity the fool who doesn't phone home. I'm Mr. E.T. Oh, Mr. E.T. That's who it is. That's Mr. E.T. Look at him. He shrunk a lot since Rocky III. Look at that guy. What happened? Uh, oh, got another one coming through. What do we got? Anybody? Anybody? What do you got? Anyone? Anyone? Who are you? I am Ego Batman. Ego Batman! Okay. Wow. Both of his parents were killed by a toaster oven. Okay, wait, we got another one. Hold on, it's coming through. Here it comes. Huh, let's see. Wait a second. Wait a second. You look a lot like America's favorite game show co-host, Vanna White. That's... That's because I am America's favorite game show host, Vanna White. Oh. I was gonna say Halloween City's really stepping it up over there. Uh, any guesses? Anybody got anything? What? Okay. Anyway, Vanna, tell us who you are, Vanna. I'm Vanna White Walker. Oh! Vanna White Walker. Long may you reign. And say hello to Pat from the North for us. Uh, thanks to all of our models, especially Vanna White. It's here for Vanna White. That's right. And thank you very much to the amazing Jimmy Kimmel Live Wardrobe Department. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever. <laughs>